Thomas Paine wrote the pamphlet Common Sense in 1776, thus ushering in a period of great change for the English colonies here in America, as well as for mankind around the world. We are in the ninth great change cycle since that time. Starting with the struggle between the Federalists and the Jeffersonians, America has gone through several cycles of deep, fundamental change and survived, sometimes by the narrowest of margins. Each cycle has had people on both sides of the debate that have stood up and clearly stated their ideas. However, this is only half of the equation. The other half is the debate that goes on within the populace, around kitchen tables, and in neighborhoods all around this country. Glenn Beck's book, Common Sense, is a call for the populace to unite, to look at what goes on in the halls of power in America, and to realize that if it wouldn't work in the households of America, it will not work in the White House. And, to borrow a phrase from B for Vendetta, if you see what he sees, and if you feel as he feels, and if you would seek as he seeks to restore America to her founding principles, then commit yourself with him to the cause of America, but never in violence, never. That only discredits our cause. Instead, to quote Beck's notes from the author, he wishes us to become creative extremists. Put principle above party, character above campaign promises, and common sense above all. Do not remain neutral. Do not sit idly by. Do not let other people speak for you. Silence has gotten us nowhere, so once again it is time for our collective voice to make this simple but powerful declaration. Don't tread on me. If we act in time, perhaps we shall give them change that shall never, ever be forgotten.